Whoa, hello, lover. Um, <laughs> Hello there and welcome back to my channel. Um, so I hope the light is okay before we get started. It is really, really late here. But um, if you've watched my videos before, you will know that I work full time. I have children. So if if I get distracted or talk gibberish, it's fr it's from extreme mum working mum exhaustion. So I'm gonna apologise for that. Um, I have my Scentsy burner in the background, that one there, which is burning vanilla just to try and keep me zen. Um, and I have a really strong cup of tea beside me, so hopefully that gets me through. And just on that, if anybody else has a thing about like life's simple pleasures and the pleasures that kind of go unnoticed and just the small things, for me it is a good cup of tea. And it is a good cup of tea made in a teapot. And I just, that just, it makes me happy. But I, I told you I'm exhausted. I'm sorry. I'm off on tangents already. Back to what we're here for. Hello. Welcome back. If you're new, hi. Um, if you're coming back, thank you so much. If you watched my last unbox unboxing, see, I can't speak. Sorry. If you watched my last unboxing video um, after my one of my Dublin vlogs, you'll have seen me unbox this little beauty. I'll actually link it up above because... I unboxed this little beauty, but I also unboxed another Louis Vuitton Capucines Mini, which this obviously is. And I was very much stuck between the two. They were both beautiful. The other one was probably a bit more classic and a bit more timeless and elegant. Whereas this one's a bit more funky. This is a plexiglass handle. Somebody did ask me if it was PVC or plexiglass. I was told by the essay it's it's plexiglass and that's what it feels like if you can um hear the the tap but it definitely doesn't feel like uh pvc um so it's got the plexiglass handle and this one has the light blue kind of embossed i suppose part to the lv here and then it has the shiny bit the stickers are um still on it because this bag is still new and again if you've watched my other videos you'll know that there'll still be stickers on this bag in six months time but <laughs> sure each to their own um so if you watched me unbox that you'll know that i decided to keep this one i had both of them i was undecided i put mod shots in the video of the other one and i didn't put mod shots in with this one and the reason really being because the video was already getting really really long and one of my lovely viewers had left me a comment under it to say that they would like to see some mod shots of this one so i'll put them in this video and this is going to be really um a review of it my first impressions i obviously can't give a very detailed review on wear or tear or anything because it is still new but i've been playing about with it and seeing what goes in and how it fits and and just so i thought i would do a first impressions to give you guys a bit more of a closer look to this i think i thought to be honest with you a bit like when i did this for the rainbow chanel reissue the metallic one um which i will link somewhere um i thought this bag just to be honest deserved a bit more attention to herself because she is stunning like just <laughs> i'm just so happy to have her um, she's just so unusual looking and just so beautiful. Now, the Capucines is obviously one of the classics for Louis Vuitton. It's, it's their premium line. They certainly treat it like that. I said in the last video when I was down collecting this, they asked me to pose for photographs with this bag. There was a fuss made about buying this bag in the boutique. And I think that is just how the company view their um, leather. Certainly they're trying to push towards more leather now than canvas. Certainly with the point, point neuf, point nine, whatever point neuf bag. And um, more of the, the leather bags are coming out. I think they're trying to become more of a leather company as well as just canvas obviously i there's in the background you know i love louis vuitton canvas i will always love it but i can see why with the with the level of pricing and if they're trying to compete with the other houses like chanel and hermes i can see why they're trying to push the leather lines so this is their capucines mini in the terrain terrain leather um, it does have, this one has the plexiglass um, handle. They're also bringing out now a range of more vibrant and maybe a bit more, some would say less classic, a bit more maybe 
I don't want to say trendy because there's this is not a trend, it's not a trend bag, but a bit more different and a bit more unusual in their cap scenes. There is there's a bright pink due to come out, which I'm a bit obsessed with. Um, don't tell hubby. <laughs> there's a neon green there's a beautiful navy on the website at the minute there's just some really fabulous colors in it but i went for this one this is my first um capucines in any size i don't have the bb or any of those in my collection um this is in the mini size it does have the plexiglass handle as i have mentioned on the hardware and one of the things i love about this bag you'll see is it has the leather intertwined in between the hardware and on the middle um the middle screw on both sides sorry is that any better um it has louis vuitton around the middle screw this one has the black leather in and around it and it has the same on the back i if you look at it from the back i actually think the black leather with the silver palladium hardware against the plexiglass this is a, a pinky color i know it looks slightly orangey but um in real life it's like a light pink and um, i just think that looks class as a contrast beside each other so it does have the as i mentioned the light blue with the silver it has the four silver feet on the bottom that say louis vuitton on each of the little feet it is plain black at the back and it has this piece of leather Coming across it, which at the minute I have tucked in underneath the LV, it does come out and that still has the sticker. I put it back. Isn't that sad? I took that sticker off in the unboxing video to show you what that actually looked like. And then I put it back on. Oh my God, my goodness. I'm so sad. But um, if I take it off to show you what it actually is, because I got it wrong in the first video because the sticker, it looked different. It's the leather underneath with the flower symbol, which is obviously one of the Louis Vuitton iconic symbols, and it has the little silver dot um, in the middle. And I'm not even gonna wait till we're off camera. I'm not even gonna lie. I'm just gonna put that sticker back on. So yeah, there it goes. Own my shame. So <laughs> that can either sit out. Now, it, it, I suppose once this is worn a bit more and the leather softens, because I've watched a few videos now on the BB, um, and this sits down like this. And you can carry it like that, which is a lot more discreet than the the LV. And I actually think, again, with the colour of the handle and this beside it, I think that is actually really pretty. At the minute, it doesn't sit so well like that because this hasn't been used and doesn't soften yet. But I think when you put it like this, it is slightly more elegant and slightly more understated and a bit more classic looking, even with the plexiglass handle but it also can slip in here and then it sits as many of us would recognize the capucine with the LV symbol here. Then on the inside, it did come obviously in the box with the dust bag and I did say in the unboxing video, it has the, it has the thicker dust bag. It's like a thicker material and it's the drawstring dust bag. Um, it's the only bag, I have other Louis Vuitton leather um, bags, but this is the only bag that I've ever got one of those type of dust bags with it it's a bit like the ones that came with the shoes so on the inside it has on the inside the little care booklet it then also has the strap and this one as opposed to the black and red that i also tried on is just plain black the other one had black on one side and red on the inside so this is just a plain black strap and what i love about it is that it's thicker the BB in this size and the bigger sizes have the thinner strap and I think that lends itself to a more elegant, more timeless type of fit. I think this one with the thick strap um, on the mini size, I think lends itself to being a slightly edgier look and maybe a slightly newer look. Um, yeah, I, I think so. I'll show you that whenever you see it on in the mod shots. And it is just black, plain leather. And then it has the two um, connectors on the bottom, which have LV just engraved in them. It then on, it also has in here, it has the product code for anybody that is interested. And it has the little Louis Vuitton card which says outside is cowhide leather and inside is calf leather if anybody's interested in the specifics of the material and then on the back here if you can see 
It says Louis Vuitton Paris. Is that hidden? Louis Vuitton Paris made in France. And then it has one slip pocket here. It is black. And we are in the dead of night, so you might not see it too well. Um, if I just maybe move this light over. So it has one slip pocket in the back here where my finger is. And then it is one. Oh, that's better. It is one open space with this one piece of leather down the middle, separating it, making it two spaces. And then it has this black. I've been calling this a belt loop. I'm sure that's not what it's meant to be called, but let's, it looks like a belt loop. So it's, a, it, it's, it's a larger belt loop here in the back held in with two little Louis Vuitton screws. And if we just show, if you look at this tapered part of the flap, it just fits in there perfectly. And that's what holds it into place. So as that strap sits, or not strap, but flap, is that better? Um, sits so well so if we just it is just like it is just like a larger belt loop just slipping in there um, <laughs> and because I hadn't had one of these before I didn't actually know that it did that and um, when I was looking to buy this because I was between the two and very much between the two so whenever I saw them I was looking on it on YouTube and I couldn't really find very many videos of the mini there didn't seem to be very many. I suppose it hasn't been out just as long as the VB or the bigger sizes, but yeah. So it's the mini that I went for. I will show you what it looks like crossbody. And I am now going to give you a little look about what fits inside. So I brought out some of the more popular SLGs that most of us would kind of have or look to see if they would fit inside. But I will just say from the outside outset that this is a mini bag. Now that's not a problem for me personally because I love mini bags. I have quite a large mini bag collection. I will link it somewhere in case you're interested in mini bags. I'm just going to show you before we get started. I've lifted out um this is a Chanel rectangle mini and you can see that the base is the same size so they are the same width now the Louis Vuitton is slightly taller so you are going to get a little bit of a space a bit more space at the top of it but look how much it tapers in at the side so I'm going to show you now what fits in but it's not going to be huge so first things first if I was taking this bag out how I would intend to use it would be first of all would be my phone i have to have said in my deal breakers video my phone has to fit into everything and when i tried this in the shop i tried that my i checked that my phone my phone would fit before i purchased it and then going to go with the louis vuitton victory wallet i have been going between this and this so i have been using this as well as a wallet in mini bags just to downsize a bit more i did buy the recto verso but i haven't used it yet um so i i can show actually i'll get that i've added that in now too that i can show you if that fits so i tried whenever i was in the store the victorine wallet because it is the bigger of the two between it and the little Dior one. So I had tried it on my first visit, so I already knew that that fit. So we have the Victorine wallet and my phone. And then say if we go for one of the flat card holders and perhaps the key clay as well. And they will fit easily in at the front. And what I, now I have here, this is the six key ring holder. In mini bags, I use the four, but to be completely honest, it's downstairs in the door. So <laughs> I'm going to just show you the six. Um, and it would fit, because we do have the height, we could set that just across. And this, I think, yeah, that will still go in. That will still go in. And if we open up, you can see that there is, now it is sitting at the top, but maybe, yeah, it does. So we now have in the front, we have the key clay, the... Um, we have the key clay, the flat card holder, the four ring key holder, the Victorine wallet and the phone. The only, th oh no, look, it's still fine. I thought maybe um, if we put that in, we might sacrifice the little belt loop, but it doesn't need to go down too far by the looks of it. So that is, yeah, that's fine. And it actually doesn't, for a full leather handbag, it doesn't actually feel that heavy yet with all of that in it. And we have my phone, which I'll keep in the back because I'm gonna show you as well that um, if we went down to say the little Dior 
card holder which I have been using as a wallet because I wouldn't really need to take to be honest I wouldn't need to take all of these if I was downsizing into a mini bag I would probably take phone either wallet either the victory wallet or this I would take my card holder for my loyalty cards I'm big into loyalty cards let's not let's not you know mock the free money and then I would have my key holder in the back which I'm making a complete meal of but I would have the key holder in there I would have the card holder I would have my wallet and I would have my phone and that would probably I would just tuck my car key down in the side and that would probably be it to be honest with you that is probably how I would use that if I ah telling lies again the extreme exhaustion I apologize this would obviously need to go in I would be a little bit um I don't think I would want to have that lying across the top. So I would probably move that about to have that upright just because. Could you imagine hand sanitizer all over the inside of your cappy scenes? Yeah, I wouldn't be too happy with that. So I would put that in there and I would put my car or my key holder here and that should still work. Now, when we had it before with the key clay the key holder the card holder we probably would have had to jig that about if we wanted to fit one of those in with a hand sanitizer and i don't know about you but i'm carrying it everywhere i'm just going to show you because i know a lot of people are are buying this the minute i actually haven't used it yet which is not um great but it would slip in the back just the way the wallets did and um, so that's got the recto verso in the back there beside the phone and then we have all of this space. Now, the other thing I'm going to show you, although I personally wouldn't carry this in it, I don't really carry it in my mini bags, but I do get asked whenever I'm showing these what fits in your bag, if I would show whether or not the mini pochette fits in. So I have my mini pochette here, and just so you can get an idea, it has receipts in it, it has perfume, it has pens, and it has some cards. So that is the way it is in my work bag. And let's just see. Mm. I, I don't think it's going to comfortably, it's not going to comfortably fit in there of anybody. I know for some people, the mini pochette can be a bit of a deal breaker. Um, and you can squeeze it into the Chanel minis, but I think because of this tapering at the side here, it's not going to be, it's not going to comfortably fit. And that's going to be the same with, yeah, that's going to be the same with the Toiletry 315. So if that's something that is a deal breaker for you, because it's obviously a very popular SLG, just bear that in mind. So that's a look at what fits inside and we are having a little SLG party here. Um, I love it. I'm so happy to have it. And I know, I know that you're probably thinking, oh, she says that about all the bags, but yeah. Um, anyway, so yeah, I think, I think it's fab. Absolutely love it. And I do get excited about these bags. I think we all know that. Um, so I'm very happy to add it to my collection. I think the Cappy Scenes is a special piece. There's no denying that it's an expensive bag. So thank you so much for watching this. I hope that you're well. I hope your family's well. If you've enjoyed it, please do give it a thumbs up. I am now going to put the strap on and just take a little bit of mod shot footage to show you what it looks like on me. And for reference, I am five foot one and could definitely do two We're losing the rest of this weight. But I will show you what it looks like. And again, take care. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next okay, one. So this is what it looks like on Quas Body. I'm going to apologize from the outset. I've been like this all day. I've been in work. I've done school on. I fed the kids. If there is like, you know, baby food or spare nappy or something stuck to me just ignore it because this is just like a normal day in the frantic life as i said it's pitch black Um, i don't have the energy change so um this is this is it just with a very normal casual outfit there's obviously the, the children's toys are still beside so anyway this is the little happy scenes mini um crossbody i absolutely i whoa hello lover um is <laughs> again exhaustion isn't it so pretty i i like i i thought in the shop that it sat a little bit too high now that i have my things in it i actually think it sits better and i think the weight pulling it down is helping that um and i just if you again if you've watched my videos i think this is probably a very me bag and i am really happy with it so that's it sitting crossbody 
you can see the handle i know that some bags um people would ask me because if the handle's too high it can dig into you here this one is low enough and i am only five one so it's not like there's a huge amount of height there um to, to give it the space so i think that is fine i yes i really really i just really like that i think that it is such a pretty addition and then hand held obviously now you could um take the strap off it's because i've just physically taken it off me but there is it hand held the way that it sits again i am i am a fan well wouldn't you like to be when you've just spent all that money on it my dear but anyway um yeah loving it very happy love this handle it is, I know I have um, a collection behind me there, but it is so different to what I have. Um, really love it. Okay, so that is it on the side. I hope this was helpful. I hope you've enjoyed it. And take care, everybody, and I'll see you in the next one.